In this video today, I'm going to practically show you how you can make use of OPA POS and the reason is because a lot of people have now collected their POS and they don't know how to do the transaction, especially for those that the POS was way billed to them or maybe when you went to collect the crowd was too much and they did not show you practically how you can do that. So today I'm going to show you how you can withdraw with the car with the POS, how you can make transfer with the POS, how you can chat OPA support in case you have you, you, you have any issue with your transaction and how again you can specifically look for a particular transaction how you can reprint it in case you want to print a, a another a, a, a receipt for the transaction that you send and much more hello and thank you so much for watching i am ija perigian the mom on point i'm an author a public speaker a writer and an online business coach i help people to convert their knowledge into profitable business on the internet so if you are ready to take your business to the next level don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell sign so that you get latest notification on our videos be it on online business entrepreneurship self-publishing and i have series of videos from how to make hand sanitizer liquid soap detail face masks and much more so this channel is all about entrepreneurship and converting your knowledge into profitable business on the internet so let's move to the practical aspect of this video all right here is the practical aspect that you can see is, is 6 or 6 a.m. That's to tell you when you are passionate about something. By this time, I think I'm awake for almost uh, three hours right now. So here is my OP POS. And I have to do this before my girl will come and pick this particular POS. So, all right. So here is my OP POS. This is my agent app. So if I want to make... If I want to transfer money to anybody, it's, it's through this agent app. And in this place, I'm going to insert the four, the six digit password that we created. If you have not watched my video, you can go ahead and watch the video on how you can download the app and process and, and, and even collect your POS. So I'm going to enter my, my password, six digit password. All right. All right, I've entered my password and it will sign it will sign me in. This is where I can make transfer. So here is my if I want to see my balance, I will tap here. If I don't want my balance to be seen, I will tap here. So here is exactly like the app in your phone. So let's say you want to make transfer, I will just click on transfer and then if I'm transferring to mostly it's to bank but if, sometimes I have customers that used to come and say that I want to transfer to my OPE account because now OPE is like a bank on its own, unlike before that is under Zenith Bank. So I'll click on transfer uh, on bank, then I'll select the bank. Let's say I always like using my own bank, GT. Maybe GT will endorse, endorse me one day. 00462. 74664. All right, then I'll put the amount 2000 naira. All right, then this is optional. You can enter the person's phone number, and then maybe I can add message. Some people it's always important, especially when they are sending it to another person through POS. So it's always important you put this message. You said to Maybe the person's name to which name come to my mind now? Ijapari, my own name. I love my name. Ijapari. All right, so that the, the receiver will know that the money is actually sent for that person, so there will not be long, too long uh, thing to talk about. So I'll click on send, and then okay, something went wrong because I actually did not put my is four six six four is not four six six seven so i intentionally do that so that you know that whenever something is wrong is because there's something that is actually not right is either maybe the bank is not correct or four six six four all right so you see that it will now go all right it's loading so that is how to make transfer then here i'm going to input my four digit pin i'll click on pay now and then I'll enter my four digit pin. So I don't need to send. That is how to do that. And again, I used to say recharge card. I used to do a lot of things with this app. 
So, so mostly I, if you have watched my video, my last video that I did on how other businesses you can do to earn money, I talk about selling the charge card. So all I will do is click on airtime here. You don't even need to ask the person what uh, network it is. So I'll just input phone number 080 3559 4585. Done. I'll click on this sign. All right, it has already shown me that it's MTN. So I'll now click maybe it's 1000 Naira. If I click on 1000 Naira, I'll click on next. So with this now, it will bring it out and it will ask me to enter PIN. So I'll click on pay now. If I click on pay now, I'll enter PIN. So that is how to buy recharge card with the with the POS. There are a lot of things you can actually do. You can also pay for electricity. I used to pay electricity for a lot of people because this business is huge so all you need to do is to enter the person's meter and then the amount you want to pay and then you click on next and it, it will ask you to input your uh, password that is your pin which is four digit pin and again you can also use it to even buy data you can also use it to pay for dstv this tv you click on it by the time you click on it, it's DSTV. I think I can't remember my DSTV stuff. So if you input, if it is right, if you click on next, it will show you. And then you also input your PIN. Your four-digit PIN is very important. That's why you really need to keep it safe. So how do you make withdrawal? If you want to make withdrawal, you click on this OPPOS. By the time you click on OPPOS, you will now um, click on purchase. So I'll tap purchase. And then the amount, let's say 2000 I don't know why 2000 naira is coming. I don't want 2000 naira. I want 2 million people. So all right, I'm going to, uh, I tap in, I click on enter. It will ask me to in insert my card. So I'm going to insert my card right over here. By the time I insert my card, it will ask me to put the person's pin. So at this point, I will give to the customer and the customer will input his pin. And once he input his pin, voila, it will go. I don't want it to, I, I'm not withdrawing, so I don't need that. So I'm going to remove the card and then go back to the main menu. So that is how to do that. Another important thing is this. You can also chat OP support, right? Directly from the POS. So in case maybe you, you are not the one running the business, you need to teach the person that is staying there so that the person can chat OP support. So here, let me say I made a transaction and I have an issue with the transaction. I can directly use, okay, like this 17,000 error now is showing that it's a failed transaction. Let's say maybe the network was bad and the customer was debited and then I was, I'm not credited. All I'm going to do, I will click on this. By the time I click, I will click on chat OP support here. If I click on chat OP support, it will take me directly. As you can see, it's already telling me that their customer what 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 so and automatically it has bring all the details so i'll just click on send i can say the customer was debited i didn't go to school that much oh. <laughs> debited debited okay and i'm not credited it's as simple as that so, and again, maybe they will ask you, okay, this, you can see our agent will be available to assist you at 9 a.m. to 7 uh, p.m. So, that's the time they are on. So, this with this now, I've already given him the details directly. Maybe they will ask me for a screenshot. So, all I will do is that I will come here. I will come to the transaction and I will tap this, but I will tap both the voice and, and the button at once. Sorry, if I tap it at once. It will screenshot it, and then the next thing I will do, all I will do now, I will just when I go to the chat for open support because sometimes they will ask you for that. If I tap chat open support, okay, this is the screenshot. So if I click on tap uh, to for open support, I will click on this sign. This particular sign here is for picture, so it will ask me. So this is one of the screenshots, and then. Uh, it will automatically bring it up so i have sh shared with them the screenshot so i hope you are getting value from this so let's say for instance somebody make a transaction a long time ago and the person now come he wants to verify something because these things do happen especially 
sometimes it might not happen to you maybe until when you are three months six months in the business so how do you go to get that particular transaction you can actually get all your transaction by date so all you need to do click on this all category if it is tv subscription that the person do did or is bank uh, is receive money or data or whatever the person do you can go ahead and check a specific date so let me say is bank payment so what date i'll click on this calendar sign here then i can check it is asking me last week last month blah 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 i'll click on most custom so the start date which date i can check maybe what happened is between maybe since may or even april so i can say from april third and then i will still check i want to check from april third to maybe okay to march third to march sixth and click on okay so once i do that it will show me this particular transaction that i did within so 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 period so when i see as you can see see march sixth so let's say i want to reprint this now how do i reprint it so all i'll do is i'll click on get receipt i'll click on print it will ask me that I need to open my Bluetooth. So I'll click on allow. So my Bluetooth is on. I'll see go back to get receipt and then I'll click on print. And then I'll tap interpret. Voila. As you can see, it has printed. Sorry, the place is still that. I just hope that you are getting value and you're understanding what I'm saying here. So that is how to do that. What else do I need to talk about? I think I have share the necessary information and how to go about that and the futures are there are actually a lot of things you can do with this pos there are actually a lot you can even i use it for, i use it for calculation and again by the grace of god very soon they, uh, there are other other things you can do very soon they are going to activate um reform where you can also you can you can reform as you can see here this reform it will soon be activated hopefully very soon very soon so it will be activated so there are a lot of things you can do i hope you find my video helpful at the end of this video if this is the first time you are watching this video my video i have series of video on how you can start how you can grow how you can get your pos and much more so please if you find it helpful don't forget to give me a like if you have any question i beg you ask in the this in the comment section of this video a lot of people used to come to my dm and they feel bad because i'm not always responding you if you can imagine if i should be on whatsapp answering all your questions one on one what time will i have to create content on youtube please don't feel entitled the worst thing that can happen to anybody is to feel entitled over nothing especially i'm doing this out of pure love for business out of humanity as i'm talking right now i've not yet monetized by youtube so let alone i will say maybe because of the view viewership of course i'm hoping that very soon i'll be monetized and if i am it's going to be a plus to me adding another stream of income but until then please don't feel so entitled ask your question in the comment section of this video the reason i I insist on that is because if one person asks, thousands of people will have access to that answer and it make me it, it reduce my workload. Please. So except your question is personal, please you can ask your question in the in the comment section of this video until I come your way again in my next video where I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff that you can do with your POS. Do have a wonderful day. Bye.